friends, today we're gonna make volcanoes. I did it with my friends in the Zoom meeting and it was so much fun. So for this project, you need a container. I'm using this jar that you'll be able to make your volcano inside of. It's gonna be the base of the volcano. And then you'll need something underneath it to catch the eruptions. I'm using this pot, just so you don't make a huge mess. And then you just need some baking soda and some vinegar. All right, are we ready? Okay, first you're gonna start by pouring in some baking soda. Pour, 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 pour. As much as you want, depending how explosive you want it to be. Then, I'm gonna use this other little jar to put some of my vinegar into, just so I can pour it a little easier, because that's a big container. And I added some purple to it to make my vinegar pretty, my eruption pretty, and now, we're gonna add the baking soda to the vinegar and you're gonna watch and see what happens. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Eruption! Ah! Look guys, we made a volcano. It erupted, is that so cool or what? So cool. Now, this is not the way that volcanoes happen in real life. In real life, volcanoes are made with heat. But this is a way that we can make a volcano so we can see and touch and feel and be close to it in a safe way. When you mix vinegar and baking soda, it makes something called a chemical reaction, which means when the two meet, something different happens. Like for the two of them, they fizz up. It's hard for these two things to just sit together. Was that so cool, friends? Volcanoes are one of my favorite parts of the earth. And my friend Lou suggested last week that maybe we make a volcano to celebrate earth. And so that's why we did this today. I hope you had so much fun. Bye.